Good morning and hello world. I'm Maya Sundermeyer and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my vlog series. So far I have been able to share my own experiences on what it's like for me to live with Asperger's syndrome. A second thing that I will do is give my two cents on what's going on with autism in the media. A third area entails providing tips and advice for those of you who are on the spectrum. I will also reach out to your friends, family members, peers, mentors, educators, employers, and anybody who is inside the autism community. And finally, I will cover topics and things that I'm passionate about. But before I dive into this morning's topic, I have a few things to mention. So first and foremost, please be sure to check out my written blogs on WordPress.com. Now these are scholarly and practical application type blogs. And I recently just wrote my third blog regarding a program called Wings for Autism and uh, ways that uh, one traveling through an airport that has a loved one on the spectrum can reduce stress levels that uh, lead to a meltdown or a panic attack in a stressful environment. So please be sure to check that out at helloworld240.wordpress.com. That's helloworld240.wordpress.com. And a second thing that I would like you guys to do is check out this video on YouTube. This is another Casey Neistat, but it's not autism related. This time he's interviewing a YouTuber who is legally blind and her name is Molly. And I thought my audiences might find that attractive. So uh, anyway, what I would like to talk about this morning is uh, an issue that is pretty deep. So for those of you that don't know, uh, when you have a autism diagnosis or any type of a quote disability diagnosis, you are dealing with uh, red tape and having to uh, get a psychological evaluation every so many years so that you can continue to get services. And one of the big things that uh, is a struggle for people on the spectrum is money. And these psychological evaluations are incredibly costly and time consuming. And last year, I found out that I had to uh, get new documents updated because uh, I couldn't have services on campus at Georgia State University otherwise. And uh, I wanted to mention that uh, most psychological evaluations are not covered by Medicare or Medicaid, which really stinks being that uh, we have one in 65 uh, individuals that are diagnosed. And being that the number is that high, you would think that our uh, Medicaid people and the psychologists would get it through their thick heads that, uh, hey, these people need services, whatever. And if that's not enough, you have uh, nonprofits and other organizations that are supposed to be giving out scholarships and they're supposed to be uh, helping to cover these evaluations. Well, I, uh, I put my eggs in one basket last year by trying to go and get a psychological evaluation and I tried to go through one nonprofit organization that I thought would be a help. I mean, and they were a little bit as far as me getting an intake interview. And I needed that interview so that I could qualify for uh, the MARTA Mobility Paratransit System because uh, I have some depth perception problems. And I could also, and also needed services so I could uh, get a cheaper rate to ride the uh, rails and the bus systems. So there was that. And then I was also trying to uh, get this uh, evaluation so I could have a report to give to uh, Georgia State University. Well, this organization did not help me like they were uh, supposed to. There was very, very poor communication. There was hardly any money available. And the uh, people at the top just uh, fed me a bunch of excuses about how the economy was bad and about how they all had other uh, full-time jobs and that 
nobody on the board really had time to really put a lot of effort into this program and that they did the best that they could and that they would help me uh, when the money became available and that still stood. And it's just a struggle for so many people on the spectrum to be told that they need all these services, but they can't get them without proper evaluation. And a majority of them are either unemployed or underemployed. And it's just a problem um, nationwide. So anyway, if you like what I'm doing, please be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe and be sure to share this with uh, your organizations or with your students or with anybody else. Until next time, I'm Maya Sendermeyer and I'm signing off.